There's a big difference between scientifically promising and science-backed, and that gap is where a lot of trending new beauty ingredients live. Here's three examples covered in my latest podcast episode with Lenisa Mahon. Exosomes. They're tiny extracellular vesicles. Think of them like molecular buses to carry stuff to targets. They're often marketed to boost collagen and elasticity. Reality, in this current moment, there's no convincing evidence that they, A, can penetrate the skin on their own, B, are even shelf-stable in cosmetic applications, C, do the things they claim to do. Verdict, low-key quack science. Tranexamic acid, touted for hyperpigmentation, but most of the data is in vitro or from combinations with other actives or supplements. For standalone cosmetic use, the evidence really isn't there. Verdict, overhyped and based on the data, not something I would personally reach for. PDRN, aka salmon sperm. This one's claimed to help repair and rejuvenate skin, but the studies are mostly on injectables, not topical applications. Like excess stability is also a question mark. Verdict, the science isn't there yet. The trend with these trendy new actives, the marketing moves a lot faster than the science. There's a lot of wishful thinking and not enough data. So what does have data? And what even is science-based beauty? All this was covered and more in my latest podcast episode with Lenisa Mahan, Science vs. Trending Ingredients. Find it wherever you listen to podcasts, search the EcoL podcast.